How are we doing? Good, you? Happy there. Happy birthday for yesterday. Today. Oh, thank when you. When was it? Yeah, yesterday? Yeah, okay. I thought I was somewhere close. Yeah, yeah, you there. Hey, Dad, take him the cars round just to have a look. Did you want to do that or? Uh, yeah, sure. So feel free, jump in your car and I'll go around and have a look. Yeah. Just watch out, the guy's going to go out and do some sweeping. So other than yeah. that, you're good. Yeah. Cool. All right, mate, well, if you want to go around, it's up to you. Yeah. And then we're going to try and get going. Although Stephen's going to get in first, isn't he? But we're going to try and get going. Yeah, sure. Straight away, so. Yeah. Try and beat the weather. Yeah, it's only going to get worse today, right? Yeah, we're going to move lunch back a bit probably and try and run a bit further before the supposed storm comes. Right. It's coming, but we just, you never know when, do you? Yep. We are in Ohio, for Christ's sake, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ready out. What are we doing today? We are uh, driving a race car for the first time, which should be a lot of fun. As you can see, the weather uh, isn't really cooperating, but um, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a really fun day. And we basically set the dials and yep. set everything to typical Michael Johnson settings. Okay. And then uh, basically put you in it. And then run you through till lunch. So tentatively like nine o'clock? Like nine o'clock, yeah. yeah. Nine ish like this one. <laughs> yeah. Like nine to eleven thirty. Yeah. And then I was gonna have Michael in there. Uh, I will attempt to put Michael in it and yep. see how he does. Yeah. Uh, when that's lunch. Yep. Michael in here. And then you can the car back for you towards the end of the day, but I'm going to bump that up because that's going to probably get shortened. Yeah. I'm going to bump that up because it, yeah. according to Weather Underground, it's supposed to start raining at 3 o'clock hour. Yeah. yeah. So, anyhow, that's it in a rough nutshell. Yeah, sounds good. Did they reorder us to the yellow? If they didn't do that, we didn't have a rain race, we could probably win overall. Really? Maybe. That's cool. Uh, um, I wonder if it's like, well, I, I get the front wheel drive less weight and stuff, but I remember even at DTM, it was, it was surprising how much grip you still had in the wet. Like the grip lost from wet to dry was way less than like a open wheel yeah. <coughs> One of those where it's, you know, it's going quicker, so much quicker every lap. What, you know, whatever I tell you is just going to be out of date by the time you get in there. Yeah. Uh, but so like for turn two, is it like before the 300? Was so it's before. So I think it's four orange cones, four sets of orange cones. It's before you get to the first set of orange cones. So I think it would be like in the 500.
team to the outside. Hot. It's pretty hot in there. Mm. Yeah, that's good. It didn't crash. So that's a success. Um, yeah, so I did. I don't even know how many runs there at the start. Um, but I got to the point where I just I wanted to see some telemetry and some data because the track's so slippery that. I might risk something accidentally, so I want to look at the data to see if there's corners where I'm actually close to the fastest without knowing it, and kind of understand where and how I need to go faster with this car. So it's, uh, it was a good first few laps, and now we have uh, a whole day of fun ahead of us. Yeah, man. So you found a good way there, yeah. Yeah, I, I wasn't really going quick. I, I was committing always to wide lines, like one more. Or I tried the full drive, but I didn't try the inside there. But yeah. it could be something. Get a rough reference? Yeah. Because like, I have no idea in turn one if I'm like a kilometer an hour from like the absolute limit or if I'm like 20. Sure. You know? You, yeah. No, you, you need to see the data to yeah. see, you know, actually make that. Yeah. Like, I was like slowly chipping away at it, but now I'm just like, I don't want to be that idiot that I'm like closer to the limit than I thought. And yeah. Then, like, do something. Because, like, for me, like, the steering right now, like, well, I, mean, I haven't felt like true grip from it yet. You know? It's just really like numb. Yeah. So, in terms of feeling like where the grip is, like, yeah. I don't really feel it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I think like a, a reference is. I don't know, there would be the 400. I think where I would have been. That's about where I am. Okay. But I think it's like a lot deeper now. Like that one there. Well, I'll get a little bit of a rail. Yeah, that's helpful. Yeah. Because really it's the that and then what is it, like seven, like when you go like up the crest, like that whole complex, I know I'm like really. Yeah, that's tough because you can't really get on the rain line there, exactly. just, and, and, it's, and it's really floaty, yeah. uh, just not, it's kind of even, doesn't matter who's driving, it's sketchy. Yeah. 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 So does that flatten the drive? Yes, yeah. Yeah. in the dry that's flat. Yeah. And in the dry, when you come out of five, you don't, you don't have to, you can kind of use most of the track on the exit, yeah. and you can still then get through under the bridge, flat out, and around. Yeah, right. because they can't compare me to the other cars. Right? Okay. Yeah, fun. Fun. Like, it's funny, it's very similar to the NSX experience. Like, I think everyone's expecting me to be crying. Back to work. <laughs> I, need, I need more, like, button smash gaming. Like last yeah, night. yeah. I, I got, I got more, blisters more from, from the arcade. Yeah, the button smash queen over here. <laughs> no, he was the button smash. She beat me. <laughs> How did it feel? <laughs> what, what was it like driving a car with hand controls? I presume for the first time. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's a lot mentally. It's you know until it becomes <laughs> second nature. I think it's going to be. Uh, it's definitely a challenge. I think what. Uh, Michael Johnson's been able to achieve with, with this Hyundai Veloster has been uh, pretty remarkable. You know, the fact that they've gotten on the podium this year in Daytona. Um, you know, driving his car firsthand, seeing what he deals with um, on a competitive level, it's, it's truly impressive. And uh, hopefully, once I get back into the car in a little bit here, I can continue to progress and continue to get better. Um, but yeah, so far, it's, I'm, I'm having a great time. Done media. Done media. Time to get back in the car. Just started raining again. Which is a bummer. I think it was dry the whole time I was doing the media. But it is what it is. How are you liking it? It's fun, man. It's been, uh, it's been a busy day. 
it's been a busy day, but now I get to do uh, do the fun stuff again. So, rain tires are back on. It's probably going to be. I don't know if it's going to be more wet than it's been um, at the beginning, but um, if you're wondering why I lick these things, it helps stick to your ear. Industry tip. I think you just like the time. taste. It just wasn't invasive. Like I felt like I could break. I had good control. For Cal two and three, I'd get ABS, and I felt like my stopping consistency wasn't as good because like the interference was maybe stronger. And, like so, I'd end up holding more pressure, and then I wasn't as consistent in mid corner speed. Yeah, so that's it. Track day's done. Um, ended up raining again in the afternoon, so was back and raining, running in the rut. But I got like five or six dry laps there before the lunch break. And, uh, man, that Hyundai Veloster is quite the car. It's actually, it was very impressive, actually. I was surprised. It really handled well, especially in the wet. I wasn't sure with, like, front-wheel drive how the traction would be, because I know how bad traction is in a real-world, rear-wheel drive race car. But, man, it just handled it. It was uh, pretty impressive. It was a fun day. Can't thank Brian Hurd Autosport enough for, for the opportunity for this, for this track day, for this experience. Felt good to uh, put the old pajamas back on, and uh, yeah, let's, let's see where this goes. I mean, who knows what can happen, but uh, yeah, just grateful for the opportunity, really.